Today's morning manna. Give no room to the devil. I will forgive anyone you forgive. Yes, for your sake and with Christ as my witness, I have forgiven whatever needed to be forgiven. I have done this to keep Satan from getting the better of us. We all know what goes on in his mind. 2 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 10 and 11 A young girl named Sandy had strong hatred for her father as she had seen him in her small age beating up her mother mercilessly. Bitterness kept mounting in her heart and when she became a young girl she moved out of the house. One day while speaking to a friend over the phone she happened to refer to her father I hate my father. She's bad. That was the last her friend heard on the other end. Anxious to know if anything had happened to Sandy, the friend made inquiries and was shocked to hear that the moment Sandy had said the words, I hate my father, demons had entered her and she had fallen on the ground, writhing in pain. Finally, as some spirit filled servants of God ministered to her, 29 demons came out of her and she became a brand new person in Christ. Sandy sincerely confessed to her father all the hatred she had for him and also confessed that she had planned to kill him by poisoning his food. The father was really touched by his daughter's changed attitude and their relationship became better than ever for the glory of God. Yes, the word of God is true. Satan will take advantage of us if we do not forgive others from our heart. Just as Sandy was giving room for 29 demons in our heart, if you do not forgive those who wrong you as days go by, Many demons can possess you or afflict you. There is a great blessedness in Christ-like forgiveness. Do not ever let your wrath, your exasperation, your fury or indignation last until the sun goes down. Leave no such room or foothold for the devil. Amen. Remember your mind with God's word and you will have no room for Satan's lies. God bless you and have a nice day.